Hello everybody, this is Stefano Sericola from Quarant Chain Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D room uh, from a flattened image. So, uh, let's start uh, from Photoshop. Here we have a nice picture of a, of a room. Uh, so let's start uh, uh, by selecting the rectangle armor key to and draw a simple rectangle along this area. Then hold, press and hold the shift key and draw an arm rectangle. Then go to select inverts, go to edit, cut, file, new, label attributes, press ok, then edit, paste. As you can see uh, now we have our foreground and uh, this empty space over here. This is a transparency grid. So while here we have our background, so let's save this file as background. Okay, and save this one as foreground. Like so, let's go back to After Effects. Create a new composition. HDTV is OK. achieve some kind of fake 3D, all we have to do is put background below foreground and then choose the Z axis and put it all the way down here. This is going to be fine. Okay. Now let's go back to uh, our active camera. So as we can see now we have this, oh, this black holes. This is a transparency, so and we want to get rid of all this empty space. Let's go ahead. Choose the background. Press S for the scale and scale up 200. Okay. Now let's take our rectangle and create a mask over this picture. Then Ctrl D to duplicate background and choose invert. So we have our our two picture of background. So now what we have to do is to adjust this empty space over here. And in order to do that we have to select one of the, of the files background file layer and then just move it over here. This is gonna be well, it's gonna be fine. Okay. Now choose the other file and do the same. This is okay. Now let's go to the camera options and we have the depth of 
field enabled. So let's crank this blog level. Crank it up. So now, as we can see, our foreground is in focus while the background is slightly out of focus. Now, let's back, get back to our null object. And uh, if we choose the rotation tool and uh, rotate the y axis, you can see a nice. 3D effect. Now, this is going to look fine for our rotation. Press R for orientation, rotation. Click on the stopwatch, go to 2 seconds. Let's move it to, to the other side. Resolution to a third. Press zero on the Mac pad and let's see what we come up with. So, as you can see, now we have uh, a really nice 3D camera movement. Let's zoom in a bit. As you can see, it seems like we have uh, a realistic 3D room and uh, if we want to make a few adjustments we can just create a, new, a layer new adjustment layer go to effects and presets and type colors Let's capture some kind of SQ. So we have our nice 3D camera. If we want, if you want to add some text, just type, uh, for example, fake. Give it. 3D put it behind our foreground and oops, it disappears behind the column and this effect creates a really nice depth of field you can put far away behind the ear and uh, if you scroll along the timeline you can see our fake coming out from background, from foreground. Sorry. Well, let's go back to our full resolution. I see it again. This is a 3D fake room. Okay, this is our tutorial, and hope you enjoyed it. And catch you later.